Hello everyone, I'm Ma'am Shomi. I'm back again with video number 3, The Blue Bead by Nora Burke. Together we will discuss more than 80 multiple choice questions. Kindly watch part 1, part 2 and part 3 together so that you can understand the short story really well. Remember one thing, there is no shortcut to success, especially when it is multiple choice questions you will have to read the text really well no summary no pdfs will help you understanding the text is a must must so let's begin in video number two part two of the blue bead we had already discussed question 50 why did the women shout their quarrels above the gush of the river the right answer is noise frightens crocodiles option a today we'll start from question 51. Which of the following did not live in the broad river down below the women? Great turtles, machine weighing more than 100 pounds, cranes or crocodiles? Option C, cranes is the right answer. Question 52. Sibia, in all her life from birth to death, was marked for work. What gave her joy despite toiling tirelessly under her mother's eye? Her imagination, her fondness for making necklace out of la lal bijis, the noisy crowd or the gujar encampment and the daily activities of the gujars. The right answer is her imagination. Page number 98. Although she did not dare stop for a moment under her mother's eye, her imagination took her in swooping flight over the bright water and golden air to the banks where she had played as a child. It is pretty easy. So read the text. I am repeating this again and again. It is for your good. Question 53. What pulled Sibia back to work? Her poverty-stricken life, the glare of her mother's angry, sweating face, the scolding of the agent or the crocodile? Option B. The glare of her mother's angry, sweating face is the right answer. 54. The sharp word. What was this sharp word uttered by Sibia's mother? Again, child, a blue bead, a a, what a day. The right answer is option B, child. Question 55. What has Sibia stored in the cavelets above the high water mark? A blue bead, a necklace, scarlet seeds, bowls of molded clay. Option D, bowls of molded clay is the right answer. Question 56 now. What was the time when Sibia came down alone to the stepping stones? Night, evening, dawn or afternoon? D. Evening is the right answer. Question 57. She was heavily weighted, her muscles stretched and aching. What does this reveal about Sibia's life? Her life was full of hardships. Her life was a struggle for survival. She, uh, Sibia had to toil and was deprived of education due to poverty. All of the above. The right answer is option D. All of the above. We do not have any detail about her going to school and it has been mentioned very clearly that all her life she did one thing that is toil, work and hard labor. So we can take option C into consideration as well. Sibia had to toil and was deprived of education due to poverty. Hence the right answer is option D all of the above. Question 58. Where did Sibia put her load down to rest? Beside the river bank, on a big boulder, on the stepping stones, beside a deep narrow pool? The right answer is beside the river bank. Well, this is not the right answer. I was just checking you. It's option B on a big boulder. Find out from the text where this information is given. 59. Which bird is mentioned in the blue bead? Crane, stork, heron or kingfisher? Kingfisher is mentioned in the story. Option D. Page number 98. The cold cliffs and shadows spreading into warm shallows lit by kingfishers. Question 60 now. 
She was within a yard of the crocodile when he lunged at her. Who is she? Sibia's mother, a Gujar woman, Sibia, the wife of the agent. A Gujar woman, option B is the right answer. It marks the beginning of the climax of the blue bead. Beginning of the climax. Keep this in mind. Sibia rushes in to save the woman and stabs the crocodile in the eye with her hay fork. The crocodile lunged at a Gujar woman who was within a yard of it. Sibia bends down to retrieve her hay fork and finds a blue bead. Sibia sits down on a big boulder to rest. The right answer is option B. The crocodile lunged at a Gujar woman who was within a yard of it. Option A is the rising action when Sibia rushes in to save the woman and stabs the crocodile in the eye with her hay fork. And when Sibia bends down to retrieve her hay fork and finds a blue bead, that is the tailing action. Understood? Therefore, the right answer is option B. Question number 62 and extract. But now she came on wings, choosing her footing in mid-air without even thinking about it and in one moment she was beside the shrieking woman. What is revealed about Sibia here? Her rashness, her fearlessness, Sibia was quick-footed, both B and C. The right answer is option D, both B and C. Her fearlessness and Sibia was quick-footed. Question B. But now she came on wings, Choosing her footing in mid-air. Which literary device is used? Simile, metaphor, personification, irony? The right answer is option B, metaphor, because Sibia is compared to a bird. She came on wings. She doesn't have wings, but like a bird, she came on wings. That is, she came very quickly. Question C. With what is Sibia compared just a little before the quoted words are mentioned? A bulge of glass, marigolds, rock goat, a gem. Now listen to the line. It's on page 100. From boulder to boulder she came leaping like a rock goat. This is a simile. What is the right answer? The right answer is rock goat C. D. What does the alliterative expression boiling bloody water suggest? Ferocity of the crocodile, severity of the crocodile's attack, wounds of the victim, all of the above. Right answer, all of the above. Option D. Boiling bloody water. Question E. One slap of the tail could kill her. What does this show? unimaginable and irresistible power of the huge tail, inevitability of death, enormity and fatal nature of the confrontation, both A and C. The right answer is both A and C. Unimaginable and irresistible power of the huge tail and the enormity and the fatal nature of the confrontation between the crocodile and the little girl, 12-year-old girl. Question 63. The river coursed through like a bulge of glass. Identify the literary device, metaphor, simile, hyperbole, transferred, epithet. The right answer is option B, simile. River coursed through like a bulge of glass. Simile. Question 64. How did the water splash up as the crocodile struck and up shot the Water. How high did the water splash up? 20 feet, 21 feet, 30 feet, 50 feet. Option A, 20 feet is the right answer. 5. The water which was shot up by the crocodile fell like a rock goat, a silver chain, silver thread or glass bead. The right answer is it fell like a silver chain. The next one now. Question 66. What is the literary device used in upshot the water 20 feet and fell like a silver chain? Alliteration, anaphora, simile or metaphor. Here the right answer is option C, simile. Question 67. But in the daily heroism of the jungle, as common as thorn tree, Sibia did not hesitate. She aimed at the reptile's eyes. What does the expression daily heroism of the jungle mean? Dangers of the jungle? Surviving in the jungle by facing the dangers of the jungle is a daily affair. 
vastness of the jungle trees are cut down regularly the right answer is option b question b what is a literary device in as common as thorn tree simile metaphor pun or transferred epithet simile is the right answer option a question c she aimed at the reptile's eyes why is this significant eyes are one of the most vulnerable parts of the crocodile sibia is courageous the gujar woman is watching the crocodile sibia will not be able to take the right aim what is the right answer eyes are one of the most vulnerable parts of the crocodile and hence sibia is right sibia has taken the right decision in aiming at the reptile's eyes she is courageous definitely but here eyes is significant this shows sibia's common sense and intelligence she is quick to take her decision question d with what did sibia aim at the reptile's eyes hay fork sickle stick or knife she aimed at the reptile's eyes with her hay fork she drove the hay fork at the eyes which parts of the crocodile body of the crocodile were wounded after sibia attacked with all the force of a little body his huge tail his hide his underbelly his eyes and horny cheek option d his eyes and horny cheek is the right answer question 68 what happened to the crocodile as sibia drove the hay fork at one of his most vulnerable points the crocodile reared up in convulsion the crocodile struck the crocodile tugged to and fro smiling the crocodile lunged at her the right answer is option a the crocodile reared up in convulsion and what is convulsion the next question moving from side to side in an unsteady manner fit making sharp noise or twisted the right answer is he is in a fit option b question 69 what was the condition of the gujar woman while sibia was confronting the crocodile she was fainting she was yelling she was helping sibia she ran away the right answer is she was fainting option a what did sibia do to help the gujar woman after the crocodile disappeared she dragged her from the water stopped her wounds with sand helped her home to the gujar encampment all of the above option d all of the above she did not leave her alone she nursed her she dragged her from the water stopped her wounds with uh, sand and then she helped her home to the gujar encampment such a good girl such a brave girl 71 why did sibia go back to the place of confrontation once again to see if the crocodile had died to get her grass sickle and fork to get back the brass spots to meet her mother option b is the right answer she went there again to get her grass sickle and fork hay fork 72 What did Sibia see as she bent to pick up the fork out of the water? A silver chain, a necklace, an opal, a blue bead. Option D, a blue bead is the right answer. What is not true about Sibia's feelings as she finds the blue bead? Spellbound by wonder, glad at the eventful day, ecstatic or too exhausted to react. What is the right answer? Sibia is spellbound by wonder. She is very glad. She is ecstatic. She is definitely not exhausted to react she reacts she feels happy therefore the right answer is option d to then there it lay in her wet palm perfect even pierced ready for use with a sunset shuffled about inside it like gold dust which literary device is not used not used alliteration simile imagery metaphor metaphor option d is the right answer metaphor has not been used here we have alliteration palm perfect pierced again sunset shuffled we have simile as well shuffled about inside it like gold dust imagery as well visual imagery perfect even pierced ready for use gold dust sunset these are all visual images 
and vis uh, and sibia also touched the perfect blue bead okay so this is tactile imagery as well associated with your sense of touch we are was not thinking of any of them what does them refer to them refers to snakes old makna elephant malaria mosquitoes option d none of the above is not the right answer options a b and c are the right answers question 76 now i thought something must have happened to you these words reveal sibia's mother's concern indifference sadness hopelessness concern obviously option a question 77 i found a blue bead for my necklace look what does this coated line not reveal about sibia her joy at wish fulfillment her indifference to her mother her satisfaction and excitement her simplicity right answer is her indifference to her mother option b question 78 which of the following best sums up the character sketch of sibia simple fearless observant simple fearless ignorant simple fearless observant hard working obedient careless fearless option c is the right answer sibia is a simple girl she is fearless she is observant and she is very very hard working question 79 which color sweets were seen by sibia at the bazaar red green magenta magenta and green option d is the right answer page 95 but these sweets were green and magenta on which dramatic note does the blue bead end suspense metaphor paradox or irony the story the short story the blue bead ends on a dramatic note that is irony now my dear girls and boys we have finished reading finish discussing more than 80 multiple choice questions on the blue bead i hope all the parts all the videos will be helpful kindly check the description box for the playlist and stay connected bye